Okay, so I just recorded an entire video without any volume. And a few days ago, I spent like three hours making this intro video, and it was sort of cool and awesome, and it deleted after three hours of editing. And I really don't feel like editing, so I'm going to do this weird, and I'm just going to kind of, yeah. I'm going to try to throw this together as best as I can without spending hours on it because I just, just this thing is failing me. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about is, um, guys, I totally green light anything you want to do and, like, all that crap, but, like, Eliza, totally, put a link in the sidebar. Sidebar. Side? Sidebar? Once I figure out how to use sidebars, I'll put a, totally be putting links in there. Okay. Another thing is schedules. I sent out a message saying that, you know, everyone's going to get a day and some people are going to overlap because I think there are nine of us now. Whether all nine of us upload or not is another story. And if you don't upload on that day, punishments. I'm not sure if people are actually getting these because my computer's been kind of messed up and it only said that I sent two. And I only got two replies back, so I'm thinking maybe I only sent two. Um... Let me know if you got it. If you didn't, everyone has an assigned day. If it doesn't work for you, let me know. Um, another thing is I really don't know much about Paramore, so I can't really say anything about that. Um, but I just watched the trailer for Cirque to Freak again. It looks so different from the book. I mean, from what I've read online and what I've seen, it really is different. And, you know, I'm kind of not excited for it anymore, but I'm just going to go and watch it and not associate it with the books, which I've ruined for myself, just like I did with Twilight. I went on Wikipedia and looked up characters and pretty much I figured out a whole bunch of stuff from the series. So now I'm not really excited, um, you know, about anything. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop ruining series for myself. Um, and I was also thinking about who I would leave the secret magical leprechaun for, you know, fictional characters. And I, I mean, I wouldn't... I was listening to um, I'm Not Edward Cullen, which is why, if you don't know that song, check it out. But I don't suggest checking out the one with Catherine. Uh, I don't like her voice. Sorry, Catherine. I just don't. Um, I check out the live version of I Were You on Amazon. It's actually a pretty good deal. I think it's for like nine bucks. You get 40 Hank Green songs recorded live, but it's pretty good. You get the Anglerfish song and the Colon song. and Yeah, total promo. Go get that. Um, and I was just thinking about, like, this guy that I left once because he wasn't as smart as Edward, well, he wasn't smart in general, and I did, dated him because I kind of pitied him. Well, there was a lot of things wrong with him, but I remember sort of being like, you know, I should have high standards, like, like Edward Cullen's standards, but I wouldn't leave the secret magical leprechaun or anybody for Edward or Jacob. Jasper, definitely, in a heartbeat. And Evra, from Cirque du Freak. If you don't know who Evra is, he's a snake boy. Uh, the way he's described is he has green and yellow hair and scales all over his body, and his face kind of looks like Voldemort's face, you know, with the slits, and he has the world's largest tongue, which does not make me bias at all. Um, so, yeah, I like how I never look at the camera. I'm just so tired right now, and there's a light, like, shining in my eyes that I'm kind of, like, don't want to look at the camera. I was up all night studying for chemistry. By the way, Andrew, extremely funny video. I watched it five times, showed it to my chem teacher. He said it was ill-advised, stupid, and you should probably get kicked out of the lab. And, um, but I, I thought it was great. I loved it. I thought it was really funny. I don't have a cookie to give you, but I did do chemistry. Failed, but did do chemistry, or tried to. If you want to explain molar mass to me, that would be great. That would earn you like a whole sheet of cookies. Um, okay. Um, but let me know about the schedules. Let me know about, um, the music project. Um, and I'm too tired to think of anything else to say. Oh, okay. I got my roommate a fish as a surprise present because I think it's cool when you give people surprise presents that are pets and responsibility and they have to take care of it. Hoping she'd kind of be like, uh, no, sweetheart, I'm not going to do that, blah, 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 I'm not going to take care of the fish, and she was delighted, so, you know, good, she has a fish, and we named it Kingdom, but we keep losing it, and it keeps ending up in other people's dorms that aren't ours, 
So we have no idea. Well, I just spent, like, I was banging on all the doors and looking for the fish, and I finally found it in her sister's room. Um, so, yeah, that was sort of weird, and that has been happening a lot. The fish has not actually been in my room for more than an hour since I got it yesterday, and I'm going to be putting up a video of me punishing my roommate um, after she unintentionally and accidentally broke my phone, which is still broken. Um, so she, I think she's going to start getting mad soon because I've been listening to So Jokes and Hank Green for like days now. Just days and days and days. Not to mention I wake up at like 4.30 in the morning every morning, so she's probably not too thrilled with me. Um, so yeah. Would you leave your significant other or insignificant other for a fictional character? What do you think about the music project and scheduling, punishments? I'm so tired. I really don't want to edit. This is my fish. This is Kingdom. He has fins. And he has eek poisoning, which is why the water's blue. Sam. <laughs> I don't like